So these are the ports that you can actually see on the 2011 MacBook Pro if you haven't seen one before. And it even comes with uh, quite an outdated CD drive. And this is my 13 inch MacBook Pro that I've been using for the past 9 years so that's a really long time in, in, the, in the technology world. And everything is working pretty well, it's still moving, it's still uh, allowing me to, to work on documents and uh, surfing the internet and, and so on. The only gripe I have is now the screen, as you can see it starts up pretty fast. And it's not visible here but if I turn on the black screen, you can see these little marks over here. So it's kind of spreading across the screen and obscuring whatever that's uh, being shown on the screen. So it's time to change my MacBook and thank goodness the new one is here. And the MacBook Pro was assembled and shipped from China and it took about 10 days from the moment I placed the order to the actual delivery to my home. And it comes pretty well protected in this cardboard box and also with some supporting cardboard inside. And I started using a pen knife before I realized that it was actually an easy pull tab at the side. And this is it, I ordered the Space Gray 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro 2020 with a 1TB of a solid state drive. And inside you have the guide to give you an introduction to the MacBook Pro and some of its uh, functions. And it also comes with uh, stickers which I think you can use to stick on the reflective part of the Apple logo on the front of the laptop. And of course you have your charging cable together with the charging plug. And this is the reflective Apple logo that I mentioned earlier. I think you either love it or you hate it and I, th I think for me it's pretty nice. And it comes with two USB-C Thunderbolt ports on the left of the laptop and uh, headphone jack on the right. And that's all. So I like the design of the new MacBook Pro, it has speakers on both sides and it also has the touch bar on the top which changes according to the functions that are required. So it's pretty nice, pretty sleek and clean as well in terms of its design. And of course when I compare it with my 2011 MacBook Pro then it's miles ahead. In terms of its dimensions, it's smaller, it's also slimmer and it has much more functionalities and of course it's much much faster. And so that's pretty much it for this short unboxing video. It's uh, pretty sleek, light, and uh, can't wait to get everything set up and migrated from the old MacBook Pro.